Whoops. <laughs> hey guys, good way to start. Matthias <laughs> and Phoenix here with another Teach the Noob, as Matthias is sort of stutter stepping behind me there. Alright, so today we're actually going to go over advanced combat, because Matthias kind of asked me about that. So there are a couple things that we went over after the fact of our last combat video, so we decided it would be best that we definitely covered these sort of things. So Matthias, what was the first thing you sort of asked me about? Uh, targeting and combo fields. Yes, because you noticed us doing that in our last sort of uh, run. So something important to note when you're with a group is targeting. Sometimes you're in a big group and there's something you want dead more than others because of the fact of it's They're dick. bigger. It's bigger or it'll heal them. So if you control click an enemy target or while target. selecting an enemy hit control T you can target that enemy or that ally. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Damn it, I should have never showed you this. This is a bad idea. <laughs> Alright. When you've done that, if you click away from the creature I've clicked, just have no selection of anything, look the other way, and then hit T, it'll automatically target that creature. So targeting is very oh. important to have oh, so that you know what you want to take down, which is very, very critical in certain combat situations where there's one enemy that will heal the rest or that will do a lot more damage than the rest and you have to snipe it down quickly. So targeting is very important. Another thing you were talking to me about were combo fields. So let's come on back here so I don't actually target that warg. That'd be nice. If you notice on your weapon skills, for example, so let's go to... Do, 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 do. I just realized I'm using a sword. This is not a good idea. Whoops. I'm going to switch one of these 10 axe real quick. Alright, so I have an axe out. So if I highlight the main projectile, and we went over this in uh, our wonderful chat thing, I'm going to spam the ability there so you can see, it has a combo physical projectile finisher 20% yeah. chance. So let's say you put down a water field and I throw a weapon through it. There's a 20% chance that weapon, I believe it is remove a condition when it flies through and hits an enemy on a allies nearby. Okay? On top of that, if it goes through fire, there's a chance for setting the guy on fire. If it goes through a poison field, there's a chance to poison them. So on and so forth. Each field has the ability to have projectiles pick up its effects. So if you want to put down a field right now, I won't really be able to demonstrate anything here. Let's go near those hey, warg. Let's take out that warg. Yeah. Warg. 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 I don't know how to... Warg? <laughs> Alright, okay, so put down a field. This guy's attacking ready? him. Yep. Oh, boom! Fire there's, field. There's a fire field, so you notice they're burning now because we're passing stuff through it. Kind of slaughtering them. Yeah, kind of. Kind of well, they're, they're low it? level. Yeah. So that's the physical projectile. Now, another thing you can do with combo fields. So combo fields will actually say on the ability. So for example, I'll switch to my torch here and demonstrate for the viewers. Uh, bonfire. Sets so a fire uh, around you, damaging and burning foes. It says there at the bottom, combo field fire. Okay, right at the bottom. So if you have an ability that says combo field such and such, it is a combo field. So I'm going to move one right over here. With that. So I'm going to put this one down. Yeah. Another type of combo finisher is my Warhorn. It is a blast finisher. So if I do this, boom, it detonated the, the fire field there. My boom was not as climactic as I thought it would be. <laughs> boom! <laughs> but it does an additional effect. If you detonate fire fields, you get might. If you detonate a, a water field, you get a burst of healing to the area. So on and so forth. Each field can do its own thing. I believe frost fields will give you f uh, ice armor. Chaos fields will give you chaos armor. So that sort of thing. So there's two types of moves. So usually... AOE moves, so like a hammer smash or an explosive move, that's usually a burst and it'll say on the skill. As well as, yep, oh, that's that's definitely a, a burst. I love this. Oh, I don't think it counted. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, so those detonate and those will actually give a boost to your allies there. So combo fields are very important for more highly rated combat. Another thing to note, I'm going to spam the skill in chat for you right there. I want you to take a look at that skill. That skill at the very bottom, it says something very important. It breaks, breaks stun. stun. Yeah. Every class should really make sure they have something on their bar with something like that as stun. If I get immobilized, knocked so down, insane. dazed, stunned, any of those, and I click that skill, it'll be one of the only skills on my bar that doesn't get knocked out, I can click that to break that effect. I can break free from an immobilize, I can anti-stun myself or whatever, and it'll save you in combat in certain situations. So you want to make sure that you have a stun breaker. Those oh, are I do have one. You should. Let me see if this Yeah, when I activate my Signet of Error. Okay, cool. Let me see if I can get this Moa a little pissed off. I should have known that. All right, come on, Moa. Do your daze thing. I know you have one. Yell at me. No, don't kick me. Yell at me. <laughs> but what oh. a kick. Damn it. All right, well, I'm going to... Hell with this work. All right, I, apparently this Moa does not have a dazing shriek. I was going to try and demonstrate, but this Moa does not shriek at me. But yeah, so uh, then you just hit it and it'll automatically break your stun. It's very important to do, very handy to have on your bar. And you're going to try it as well. <laughs> All yeah, right, so, just keep going. So 
Another really cool thing I forgot to mention in the other one, it, it's mainly a, definitely for people who have a little more finesse with certain abilities, is autocast. Autocast is very important to have, especially on certain abilities. Autocast when you control, right click an ability, okay, and that ability, once you've targeted a creature and actually engaged in combat, it'll continue to cast over and over and over. Some people keep it on their number one move, others prefer to spam their number one move and keep it on an ability that they want to make sure keeps auto-casting. For example, some rangers I know do it for Call of the Wild, because sometimes they forget to hit that ability right when it comes off cooldown. They keep it on auto-cast and the skill will automatically cast for them every time it's available. So control right-clicking will put it on active. If you're in combat, it'll automatically trigger. So let's demonstrate really quickly by pissing off this Jaguar. There, he did it without me hitting the button. And he'll do it again when it comes off combat or off cooldown. Oh. And you can change that. For example, I have the F1 through F4 weapon abilities, right? To be honest, yes. Um, as far as I'm aware, when I went to F4, for example, I set it to number two and it's automatic now. I didn't know you could yeah. do that. You can do that. The same with uh, your different weapon sets. So if I switch my weapon to my sword, for example, I can put it on a different ability on my sword or on my torch, or whatnot, or what have you. So that's definitely something important to have, because some people use it for the number one ability just to make it easier for them to fight. I personally do. Others put it on a very important ability they need spammed every time it comes off cooldown. So it is yeah. a pretty cool feature. Um, other than that, there's one other thing I want to show you for combat. One thing you probably have already noticed by now, and I, I know I probably, I mean definitely, it's when you're running through the world, when you go into combat, something very important to note is your speed will greatly decrease. There's co there's regular speed, out of combat speed, and then there's uh, there's out of combat speed, and then there's combat speed. When you're put into combat, your speed greatly decreases. Something you definitely keep in mind when you're running through the world. And jumping puzzles. Yeah, and jumping puzzles. Being put into combat will change everything. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, I didn't oh. keep my stun breaker. That's what I should have Big my stun, stun breaker. <laughs> I just used it. Oh, yeah. You got it! I didn't know I had that. <laughs> Up uh, <laughs> and it. that and it goes on cool. <laughs> I can't use it now. <laughs> uh, this has been another successful teach the new most. Definitely. Oh, I have one more thing to say. Go for it. The R button is on automatic run. Yes, that has nothing to do with combat, but yes, it is. The R button is automatic run. It is definitely a <laughs> handy feature. You are completely correct, sir. I just didn't want to do a whole teach the new one on the R button. Now another so. <laughs> one more cool thing I'm going to show you. I'm going to punch this Moa. Okay. Okay. I'm going to let it punch me back. Okay. No, no, no. Stop. Okay. Come on. No, not the warg. Hit me. Oh, you guys suck. Okay, perfect. I'm hurt. A little bit. Now, you notice all my skills are locked. I'm not passively healing. Well, I am passively healing because I have the signet on. But the fact is, if I walk away, you can get out of combat. This is important for dungeons, too. Sometimes you need to change a skill in the middle of a boss fight. You think something might be more important. Walk away from the boss just down the hallway. Once you exit a certain range, you'll be out of combat. Other people refer to it as OOC. OOC is very important, but sometimes you need to change a skill because you just weren't ready for that fight. Back out. Change your skill up to what you need. Or if you don't have a heal ready, you just use your heal, and then you still got hit by a really big spike move that took out all your health, back out. When you're out of combat, you fully heal. So out of combat is something very important to keep in mind when you're in more tricky combat. And you know situations. when you're out of combat, when you can reselect your... Like, the little arrow comes up over your skills, right? That's that's the biggest tell for me, honestly. When all those little arrows come back up above all my skills right there, then I know I'm in the right spot. Cool. All right. Anything else with ice? Any questions? That'd be it, sir. Awesome. All right. Thanks for watching Teach the, uh, Teach the Noob, guys. Excuse my stutter. We'll see you guys next week.